a relation between the current and the potential. Now we know that the current is dependent on the drift velocity and drift velocity is dependent on potential. Of course, we have expressed it also. Now, so if I want to get a relation, can I write I is equal to N E A and instead of V D, can I write the expression of uh, drift velocity in terms of potential difference? Of course, well, we'll get E V by M L times tau average. No problem. Okay. Now I want to express this. Let me just write V properly so that you understand and you don't get confused with uh, the drift velocity and the potential. Okay. I want to get a relation between V and I. So let me keep V on one side and take all the other thing on the other side. So V is equal to, I just want to express it as V is equal to something times I. Okay. So well, M and L will be in the numerator. This will be n e squared, n e squared. Uh, we'll have n e squared, we'll have a, and we'll have tau average. Correct? Did I miss out on any term? n e into e, e squared, a, we have ml in the numerator, tau average, no problem. And then we'll have. Look at this beautiful relation. And I want all of you to appreciate this relation. See what you have got. From the core understanding, from the classical understanding of what happens inside a conductor, you are able to make this breakthrough where you get a result, a result that relates to the potential difference across the two ends of the conductor and the amount of current that is flowing through. Now let's analyze this as well. So if we try to analyze this, what we have got. So we arrived at the same expression, isn't it? Well, let's, let's just look at this expression properly. You have M, which is obviously mass of an electron, which is obviously constant. L is the length of the conductor. So let us say we are not changing the length, it's fixed. Number of electrons per unit volume, not changing charge on an electron square of that not changing constant a if you're not changing the conductor we are not changing all these and tau average well average relaxation time so if you think about it if i say that considering all these are constant of course tau average will depend upon a factor but we'll see that later on not now because if you think about it the average uh, relaxation time Relaxation time is the time taken between two successive collisions, right? So this is the time that it takes, right? So it, this is the time it takes, the time taken between two successive collisions. Now, let us say if you change uh, something like temperature, so let us say you increase the temperature. Now what will happen? The collisions, the collision will happen more frequently and that changes the value of tau. In that case, it is not it is not remaining constant, all right? So given that all the physical conditions remain same, then can I assume this entire thing to be a constant? Yes, can I assume this entire thing to be a constant? Of course I can. And if that be the case, if length is same, if area is same, number of electrons per unit volume is same, all those things are same, then can I write V is directly proportional to I? Yes. This is the relation that you have seen. You must have already seen. We have seen this. Try to recall that law that you have read. Okay. So this relation that is V is directly proportional to I. So more is the potential difference. More will be the value of current. The amount of current flowing through the conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference ac across the two ends of the conductor. Very simply put, this is called as the Ohm's law. Yes, let us see the statement of the Ohm's law. So this law states that the voltage across a conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through it, provided all physical conditions and temperature remains constant. So I told you that the moment you change this physical condition, then things are going to change a little bit, okay? Then that, that entire thing that we had got, right? 
the, the term that we have got and we had assumed it to be a constant that does not remain constant okay if you change the length let us say it does not remain constant if you change the area it does not remain constant now given that all the physical conditions are same the temperature is same because if you change the temperature you know it affects what it affects the amount of collision or it affects the the time taken between two successive collision or in other words what happens is the the value of the relaxation time gets reduced because now the collisions are happening happening uh, quite frequently okay so this is something that we have to understand that if i can say that i can write v is directly proportional to i or v is equal to i as a very famous uh, expression of course and this is called as ohm's law perfect where this r as you know is called as the resistance r is called as what the resistance no problem 